How's it going guys? Today's episode we're going to talk about bisexuality, butts, and Dean Cain on a comic book show. Ah. Let's start it out with TV news. TV news! So Dean Cain and Helen Slater are going to be in the first episode of Supergirl. Awesome. Very awesome. Don't know who the character they're going to be playing, but having those two, Superman and Supergirl, on the new Supergirl TV show, it's just like having a metal tool in Smallville or having like Barry's dad, the original Flash, on the Flash TV show. Why is DC doing better with the TV shows than their movies? Like they're really making me pump for the TV shows more so than the movies. Except Aquaman. That was, that was pretty awesome. I was pumped about that. But yeah, that's awesome. Next up in TV news, Daredevil, Wilson Fisk. Vincent D'Onofrio, one of the greatest actors of our time. Very underappreciated. He's gonna be Wilson Fitz, filling up the, filling the spot that Michael Clark Duncan left in the world. Got some big shoes to fill, even though a lot of people didn't really care for that Daredevil movie. Having Michael Clark Duncan play that character, he did a pretty damn good job. But Vincent D'Onofrio, he's like a method actor. Whenever he turns into a character, he gets wholeheartedly into it. So I'm really excited to see what he can do with the with the Kingpin. Really excited for this. And lastly, in TV news, Sarah Michelle Gellar is rumored to be on the new Star Wars Rebel TV show. I want to say that she's gonna be on there, considering her husband, Freddie Prince Jr., is already on the show as Jedi Kanan. So yeah. Don't know who she's going to be, don't know who she's going to be playing, but still, having her on the show, a lot of Buffy fans are going to be really excited about this. I watched Buffy. I liked the show. It was cool. Don't care too much for Sarah Michelle Gellar. Her acting is kind of in my eyes, but yeah. If you watched Old Wars Rebel, you like Sarah Michelle Gellar, there you go. Next up, video game news. Video game news! So the PS2, oh, this is awesome. Has nothing to do with comic books, by the way. The PS2, you can resell these things at GameStop now. But, you gotta have all the pieces and everything together. You get 25 bucks for that. If you don't have all the accessories that goes along with it, you only get $20. What the hell's the point? It's like, what, 300? No. Almost 400 bucks for a PS4. 150 for a PS3. Why waste your time? Just keep your PS2. Don't even worry about it. No idea why they're doing this. People have no idea why they're wanting to buy old PS2s. Maybe they're using them in a movie. They need like a whole row of PS2s to put them in a movie. And GameStop want to capitalize on that. Maybe they want every single PS2 to control Sony. I don't know. I'm a little drunk. Ignore that. Next up, comic news. Comic news. So we heard a couple of days ago that Catwoman is bisexual. Um, if you've been reading comic books, you kind of knew that. Watching like Batman Returns, Michelle Pfeiffer, you kind of got that impression like, oh, I think she likes ladies. Nothing wrong with that. I couldn't care less. But apparently, Harley Quinn is also bisexual. Again, she's since she's been created, she's been hanging around Poison Ivy like a lot. So everyone kind of knew she was bisexual too. Again. I don't really consider this news, but people are making a big hoopla about it, so just go with it, I suppose. But yeah, Harley Quinn and Catwoman are bisexual. Lastly, in comic book news, there's a new issue of Grayson out, and it has this scene where girls are <laughs> objectifying Dick Grayson, talking about how he has two names for his butt, his butt cheeks, Jim and Juan. And they're talking about this, and I'm thinking to myself, if it was guys doing this, and it was Batwoman, who was like their new gym teacher, because the girls think that Dick Grayson's gay in this, so if this was Batwoman and guys were doing this, the whole world would start going crazy. If guys were saying, hey, I name our new gym teacher's boobs, it's Jen and Jess, the world would go freaking crazy. Double standards, people. Think about double standards. This is just, it's fun, and it's funny, and kids do this shit all the time. Get over it. It's funny. I liked it. It's not objectifying. Have a sense of humor. Because I like this. Keep it up, DC. You found it something that I appreciate, so keep it up. And everyone's favorite time of the day. Artist of the day. Today's artist is Laura Zombie. 
I just saw her work today. She does paintings and holy crap her painting. It's all fun. It has like a little fun, humble message inside most of her stuff. She has this one drawing that's about Christmas dreams. It's beautiful. It's like a little girl sleeping with a Christmas Santa hat on. It's awesome. It's freaking awesome. All her other work. You got like pictures of uh, Catzilla, helicopters around, and cat got his paws in a hand. It's, it's adorable. Check out the work. Tell me what you guys think. I'll put her link right down below and Twitter and everything else. And if you guys can share, like my videos, tell it to your friends. If you like it enough, tell everyone you know about the funness that goes down right here. And until next time, you guys take it easy.